I'd like to start immediately with you, if that's okay, um, Amara Masood from uh, NDC. Uh, NDC, who are also the, uh, the implementation partner for Temenos, uh, a well-known banking platform, core banking system, that has been going around for decades and that is now looking to see how it can transform in this evolving world. Uh, so from you, I'd like to understand, Amara, um, within this context of open banking, what do you see as the role for cloud computing and how can the technology, being cloud computing, reinforce the business model? Yes, uh, thank you, Bernard. Um, uh, I'm honored to be here and uh, represent uh, Terminos, which is uh, the leader in the financial services internationally. Um, <clears throat> I think first of all, I would like to uh, start off by uh, baselining the term open banking, because uh, there are many uh, different connotations to what open banking is. And uh, for us, uh, open banking is really a business approach uh, which is based on a platform. So when a company or a bank is uh, use, saying that they are doing open banking, they are basically, uh, their whole business model is based on a platform-based approach where they are bringing in various processes, where they are bringing in uh, various uh, business services, and they are bringing in various technology components uh, and providing that as a basis uh, to expose their data to outside ecosystem. And uh, this is very important, um, uh, you know, and as you know that in Europe, uh, PSD2 is uh, certainly happening uh, right now. And in UK, there is Open Banking Initiative, which is also underway. Uh, so this is going to really change the face of banking. And if we look at uh, the first uh, f uh, top 15 uh, platform or open banking um, uh, platform providers, uh, they basically, uh, if you look at the market capitalization for them, uh, it is about 2.6 trillion US dollars that uh, they are providing services for. And um, uh, every country, when uh, the regulator plays an important role, where they allow them to expose the uh, data and allow them to expose the processes and business functionality so that they can add to the revenue streams uh, that they already have. And they can also compete in the world where uh, the Alibabas of the world are coming in as their competitors. And banks can now compete uh, by using the open APIs. Uh, in terms of um, uh, you know, what is happening in Pakistan uh, for open APIs, I think uh, uh, there, uh, uh, my colleague here from JS Bank will be uh, talking about uh, some of the things th that they have already done. Uh, but in general, I think, um, uh, you know, because the nature of the whole uh, economy is uh, uh, changing very fast with uh, the onset of uh, Alibaba buying Telenor Bank, um, it is very important that the regulator moves very fast on this. And in order for any bank to be providing open APIs, uh, the cloud computing technology is really a must uh, for that. And uh, when we say cloud computing technology, it is uh, not only that uh, you, know, you go outside of the country and uh, start uh, using a cloud, but it could also be an on-premise cloud. And the skill sets that are required to provide uh, this business model as a, as a platform will uh, uh, make you ready. So it's not going to be that you can take your monolithic applications and uh, uh, put them on the cloud. It is basically a total change and transformation in the way that you are going to be providing your business services. And that is how I see open banking and cloud competing, uh, computing very interrelated with each other. OK, thank you, Amara. Uh, Amara, I think um, when, when we go to clients, we very often, of course, see Temenos because, as you said, it's, uh, it's probably uh, one of the, the core banking systems that everyone has worked with at some point in, in their career. Um, and as you rightly point out, there is a new future on the horizon that you're preparing for. How, how does Temenos itself prepare for that? How do they, because wherever you go, your clients still have the spaghetti infrastructure of the last couple of decades. And at the same time, you're building that new platform in the cloud from scratch. How, how does that combine? Yep. 
So uh, for Terminos also, you know, being the leader uh, in the financial services industry, uh, they have certainly uh, gone towards uh, the cloud. Uh, they are offering, uh, you know, the different banking services uh, as part of the cloud. And they are also uh, providing APIs to hook on to the various fintechs. So th there is no one technology provider who would be able to provide everything. And therefore, it is very important for technology providers like Terminos to be able to make software which allows them to hook on to um, uh, various uh, fintechs. And that is something which is uh, called the marketplace. So Terminos has been leading in that effort and um, uh, uh, sandboxing a lot of uh, the fintechs uh, so that they are pre-integrated. Because uh, in this day and age, uh, time is of the essence for banks to go and roll out different pro uh, products, uh, which is usually uh, 18 to 24 month cycle. But uh, uh, when you talk about you know, a digital bank uh, and opening APIs, uh, this cycle can be reduced if we actually uh, go to the cloud platform because pre-integrated um, uh, test uh, sandboxes would be available with fintechs already um, uh, you know, integrated with various uh, business functionalities and customer data and how they want to utilize those kind of services. Thank you, Amara.